What's going on, everybody? Welcome to The Chair. I'm John Jay II, your host, and this is Jim Promotions. You know, The Chair, The Change Up. You ever play baseball before? No? Figure it out. Basically, The Chair is The Change Up. Okay, it's just a nickname for a pitch. We're going to call it a show, uh, part of a series of shorts that will be on Facebook, YouTube, and other areas, but primarily Facebook and YouTube, and also special content will be hosted on our Patreon website, so make sure to check that out. I'll put the link in the description of this video, but let's talk about the topic at hand. Let's talk about ESPN 8, The Ocho. So today's August 6, 2021. Uh, and on ESPN2, all day long, they're playing a series of different shows, different kind of crazy outlandish sports on ESPN2, but they're calling it ESPN8 The Ocho. Let's kind of go through. If you don't know what ESPN8 The Ocho is from, it's from Dodgeball, a true underdog story. Um, and, you know, it's from the Dodgeball movie, essentially. If you haven't watched it, check it out, figure it out. If you don't know where to find it, Check all your streaming services, bootleg it, do what you got to do to watch it. It's a great film. Um, so basically ESPN did this as a spoof to do it. Um, and I just have one question, but I'll save it to the end. Let's go kind of through the guide of different sports, different events that they have today. Uh, so starting at midnight, they had Foosballers, the documentary, uh, Foosball, you know, Foosball with the with the hands, uh, the hand holders. Uh, then you got Slippery Stairs as part of the Ocho, two, 2019 Golden Tee World Championship. So you don't know what Golden Tee is. It's a video game, arcade game, uh, where you play golf. Uh, you know, it's like a handheld thing uh, where you go to the stand and play it. You, you swipe the ball in there and you hit the shot that way. Really interesting, really entertaining stuff. Then you got Gels Marble Runs Putt-Putt World Championship. You know what Putt-Putt is. 2019 Las Vegas Highland Games professional arm wrestling championship championship that's that's just incredible that's that's got to be cool uh ideal electricians national championships i think you gotta you know fix a circuit or do something in, in specific time stupid robot american championships table shuffleboard crazy eights minecraft battle of the burrows foosball world cup disc golf pro tour best of disc golf presented by discraft now that's interesting stuff we talk about disc golf briefly on this you know, outlet, and it's really interesting. I'm really intrigued by the sport of disc golf, and I think that's a sport that deserves to be televised nationally on, you know, regular days, not just spoof days like the Ocho. Um, then you got 2020 Tetris Championships, Pogo Palooza, Pogo Palooza, Strongman Clash on the Coast Record Breakers, CrossNet Sand Series SoCal, uh, you know, and then there's there's multiple other ones. You got Air Hockey Invitational, World Championship, Rototiller Races. That was actually just on. Had the pleasure of watching that. Um, and people are basically running down, you know, a, a certain length of a field and dirt uh, with their rototillers of their choice. And they have to get to the finish line first. Really interesting stuff. I, I was intrigued and I wanted to try it out for myself. They also just had, following that, the 2021 Corgi Races at Emerald Downs. Really crazy, crazy shit going on. Then you got the 2021 Bagger Bowl coming on at 4:30, uh, and then you got a, the Cow Chip Throwing Contest. I mean, come on now, 2020 USA Mullet Championships, World Chase Tag, um, the ACL World Championships, Death Diving. All this stuff is crazy. And the thing is, yeah, it's August 6. Yeah, it's 2021. You know, things are crazy. We made it through the pandemic. Not quite yet. You know, we got the Delta variant coming on. But aside from that. These are events, these are, you know, sports, I guess, quote unquote, if you want to call them that or not, they're, they're athletic events uh, and they should be posted and they should be shown all parts of the year, all times of the year, not just on August 6th for ESPN 8 The Ocho. Make ESPN 8 The Ocho, make it its own thing, make it a year round thing, um, make that spoof of, you know, the old movie Dodgeball, make it something that's year round, something that can be followed uh, something that could be connected with on you know a daily, yearly basis, not just once a year for one day for a whole full day. It's just not fair. It's not fair to these different events, to these different you know interests. Make it something that's all year. That's the only thing that I ask. That's the only little bone I have to pick with the entire deal. I love it. I think it's crazy. I think it's awesome. Extreme. You name it, they have it, and it's it's just it's just everything kind of compiled into one, and I like it a lot. 
Um, so check it out. This article was on sportingnews.com, so check it out. I may or may not throw this article in the description for you guys to check out, but just Google it. Google ESPN 8 The Ocho. Today's the day, August 6th, so check it out. Really interesting stuff. Moving on, let's talk about Tom Brady, the GOAT. So Tom Brady earlier today called every single NFL player, called him ignorant, called him completely crazy. He's like, what are you talking about? You know, he called out the NFL Players Association. He's like, you guys are blind to what's going on. Basically, the owners, based on salary caps, they're limited on what they can pay certain athletes, and they're getting cheated out of salaries based on these salary caps. And the owners are basically keeping what they need to keep to, you know, preserve themselves, preserve the franchise, things of that nature. So he's calling them to stand up for themselves and say, we deserve more. Uh, And, you know, salary caps are tough. The pandemic really, you know, steamrolled these industries, these different sporting industries, Uh, you know, the NFL, the NBA, obviously with the bubble happening, Um, even soccer, which we'll get into in a second, talk about another key athlete. So, you know, it's kind of crazy. He's he's telling these athletes to stand up for themselves and, and claim what they deserve. On a similar note, Lionel Messi will not return to Barcelona after playing there for 21 years. He was basically a veteran of the club of Barcelona in La Liga. Uh, and, there, and it comes back to salary caps, comes back to money. So this is the one question I have regarding these two different issues that are happening today. When did it all become about the money, right? Now, I'm not what you're going to say, you know, these guys are millionaires, you know, they deserve to make a certain amount of money, especially the Tom Brady's, the Lionel Messi's, the Cristiano Ronaldo's, LeBron James, people of that nature, that stature, they deserve that type of, you know, notoriety, they deserve that salary, they deserve that money, right? But when did it all become focused on the money? These guys have money, you know, coming out their ears. Do you think they need more money? I don't think they do. I think they just want it to basically be a token of how valuable not only they think they are, but that everyone else thinks they are. They, they need it for their own confirmation, uh, and they're taking the focus off of the sport. I don't, I don't blame these guys. They need to get the money that they deserve. Um, they deserve to be paid well, obviously, but they're getting paid a shit ton of money compared to the average human being. Uh, and I'm not saying, you know, pass it around, give it around to everybody. These guys claimed it, and they earned it based on their hard work. But to make it all about the money takes away from the luster of the sport and the love of the game. So to see that focus shift, to see it about certain things and not others, uh, it bothers me a little bit to see them take that focus away. Um, but it is what it is. They have their own reasons for doing it, uh, and, that, and I'm not in a position to question them for that. Um, so we'll see how that develops as time moves on. Now, the pertinent issue at hand. Tomorrow, August 7th, we all know what day it is. It's Broken 10. Broken 10 happening at Briar Ridge Golf Club in Montrose, Michigan. Super excited for this. Um, Weirzy and I got a practice round in yesterday. We're talking, you know, looking for low scores, looking for those birdies. The greens are fast, uh, and the course is playing very well. It's looking in great shape here in late summer. It's in the peak of the season. We couldn't ask for a better, you know, conditioned course. Uh, George Screlly over there at Briar Ridge has been taking good care of the course. You know, I give him credit and I give the grounds crew credit for all the work they've been putting in, all the hours, the endless nights, uh, keeping those greens fresh, keeping them rolled, keeping them mowed. It's all important stuff. It's all really important to, you know, the, the welfare of the game, to the welfare of, you know, the athletes that will be presented to us and to everybody tomorrow. Uh, And the prize for everybody, uh, and I guess you can call it a participation trophy, you can call it whatever you want. The Big John's at the end of it, that's basically the icing on the cake. And if you're wearing a jacket while eating your Big John's, uh, you know, with your red sauce, jalapenos, hot peppers, all that, all that good stuff, then that just makes it taste even better. So we're looking to put those jackets on tomorrow, but we're just going to go out there, have fun, and, and give it our all, leave it all on the pitch. So... Really excited, really excited for the Bropen tomorrow. Bropen 10, the 10th installment of the Bropen. Weirzy and I have been playing in it since Bropen 5, so trust me, we're conditioned with the course, we're conditioned with the event, we're conditioned with the coordinators, we're conditioned with the structure of the entire event, so really excited. Look out for us on the leaderboards. Hopefully we get some odds coming out here you know within the next couple hours because i know the betters are hungry and they want to get in on that obviously this event is not franchised or ran by the corona franchise of events so it's, it's ran a little bit differently uh, than what we're used to over here at gen pros and these uh, different events that are structured by uh by our founders and things so 
it's going to be different, but it's going to be fun and it's going to be great. So I'm really excited for that. Last but not least, we have big things coming Gin Pros' way, both event-wise and structure-wise. So stay tuned for that. I'm, that's all I can tell you right now. It's going to be crazy big. It's going to be nuts. Uh, and it's been kind of quiet over here at Gin Pros since the Corona Challenge 2. So just hold your horses. Hold your horses. We're all going to be good. We're going to be okay. Uh, we're going to make it through the end of the tunnel. And uh, things are going to be great and better than ever before. So... Stay tuned, stay with us, and look for a new podcast coming this weekend. Uh, a lot of pertinent issues. The Tokyo 2020 Olympics are starting to wrap up. So big things coming and big news happening every single day. So stay tuned and stay with us. Stay posted to our website. Updates are coming soon in our news page that will explain and outline every single one of these things that I've explained today. So we'll see you guys next time. Thanks for tuning in. I'm your host as always, John Jay II. Have a great night.